Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg spent hours on Capitol Hill today taking questions from senators about Facebook's role in the 2016 election and in American society more generally. We'll talk to one of the senators who was there and spoke to Zuckerberg and more broadly what it meant. But for here's what everybody's been trying to tell you today, and I, I, I say this gently. Your user agreement sucks. <laughs> I'm going to suggest to you that you go back home and rewrite it. And tell your $1,200 an hour lawyers, no disrespect, they're good. But, but tell them you want it written in English. Senator Kennedy joins us tonight. Senator, thanks for coming on. You bet. What was the point of uh, this hearing? There? What, what laws are you all considering to constrain Facebook? You know, Tucker, I, I was mildly disappointed with the hearing. I mean, I, I wanted the point to be, I, I wanted Mr. Zuckerberg to, to step up to the plate and say, look, three words, I'm on it. I get it. It can be fixed. I'm going to fix it, and we'll do it together. Uh, that's not what I heard. I, I heard, uh, I just didn't feel like we connected with Mr. Zuckerberg today. I mean, look, it, it, Facebook is, is a, an extraordinary company. It's done magical things. But it's clear that the, uh, the digital promised land has some minefields in it. One's the privacy issue. The other is the propaganda. And uh, I, I don't want to have to vote to regulate Facebook. But by God, I will, unless they're willing to step up to the plate and address those two issues. I think they can. I hope they can. If they can't, we've got a bigger problem than just what we talked about today. So here you've got the biggest provider of news in the United States with far more yeah. power than William Randolph Hearst ever had with a long and proven track record of censorship in this country and other countries with the power to change election results. You don't think that's enough of a threat right there to act? Well, I think that's a, that, that's a very important issue. Senator Cruz, Senator Sass made that point. I ran yes. out of time. I wanted to make that point. I mean, everybody says, and I, I think it's true, uh, uh, poison is being spread on social media. Okay, what's poison? Right. Define poison. And, and look, I wanted to, I wanted, uh, a lot of our, our Democratic friends have made a big deal about, well, Cambridge Analytica and they worked with President Trump. I wanted to ask uh, Mr. Zuckerberg today about this statement that was made by somebody, uh, Ms. Carol Davidson from uh, President Obama's re-election campaign in 2012. This is what she said. She ran media analytics for, for the president. Uh, she said Facebook was very candid that they allowed us to do things they wouldn't have allowed someone else to do because they were on our side. Right. I wanted to ask uh, if that's an accurate statement, but I ran out of time. So you don't think, I mean, f finally, the, the Congress would have really uniquely the ability to get this under control. If you think that too much power is vested in one company and they're in effect enemies of the First Amendment, I know Republicans don't like to regulate things, but do you think we're approaching a point where for the good of the public that may need to be done? I don't think we're there yet, but I think a lot of it depends on, uh, on how Mr. Zuckerberg reacts to this. I'll say yes. it again, there are two issues. One's a privacy problem, the other is a propaganda problem. And the, the issue there is how do we solve it uh, without in, impinging on people's First Amendment rights? Now, that's a right. tough one. Um, it is a tough one. And, and, and I want to be assured, um, didn't get it today, maybe we'll get it in the second round, that, uh, that Facebook is not politically biased one way or the other. I, I don't want them pitching for the Republicans. I don't want to pitch in for the Democrats either, though. Yeah, well, they are. Senator, thank you. Great to see you. You bet.